Gaffney. Uh, my advisor is Professor Alex Zazuliya. I am uh, working. Uh, this is my current work on theoretical analysis of free oscillation atom interferometer in a weakly confined magnetic trap. So this is the uh, schematics of a free oscillation interferometer. So uh, the block there, the block there is the BGC at the center of a magnetic trap, weakly confining magnetic trap, and the, these uh, smooth lines are the trajectory of the boson time condensers, and uh, these wavy lines are the uh, laser pairs. That, that means they are the laser standing waves. Uh, at time t equal to zero, the BEC is split into two harmonics. Here, harmonics, I mean harmonics means the two clouds. And the two clouds now travel in opposite directions. At time t over four, which is a quarter size, a quarter of the um, uh, period, time period, the two clouds now reverse their direction. And at time t over two, they pass each other. And again, they, uh, they, uh, uh, they uh, return at time, uh, third quarter of the time period, and finally they are combined at time t equal to t at the end of the hyperbolic cycle. So uh, since there is no uh, any reflecting pulse, uh, this, this is what we are calling, um, it is, it is uh, being called um, uh, free oscillation interferometer. Uh, here, uh, so basically in, uh, we, uh, we, want, we are observing here what, uh, what happens to the phase distortion, basically what is the coherence time in this kind of interferometer. And there are, uh, there are basically two forces, which, uh, two forces which cause the phase distortion in this kind of interferometer. The first one is nonlinearity, which is due to atom-atom interactions in the Bose-Einstein condenser. And the second one is the confining potential, uh, confining potential which, uh, uh, which, uh, due to which the uh, force is toward the center of the trap. Yeah, we, we, we have analyzed this on the framework of the gross petajewski equation. Uh, this is a, a dimensionless gross petajewski equation where uh, basically this optical, the third term, the optical potential, uh, comes into play only when uh, the clouds are split and combined. And uh, uh, the, effect of, the effect on phase due to the confining potential is like this, the, this is the, the leading is, the, uh, let's consider the harmonic which is moving towards right, I have called here H1. The, uh, since this uh, leading edge of this cloud uh, is at a greater distance from the center of the trap, which experiences the greater uh, phase, uh, phase uh, greater phase uh, than the trailing edge. And so this is uh, the trend of the phase. And uh, the same thing happens, but in opposite direction for this cloud, cloud is 2 and once when this, uh, this cloud goes to the, this harmonic goes to the extreme point and then returns, still leading is remains leading is and the trailing is remains trailing is. So there is again the phase accumulation in the same direction. So, but once these clouds pass each other, now the leading and the trailing edges of the clouds interchange uh, their role. Inter uh, the roles of the leading and, and trailing edge will, uh, will, will be uh, changed now. And so the total, Phase, total phase due to the confinement effect is uh, zero in the complete cycle. In the complete cycle, assuming that the assuming that the size uh, is constant, size of each harmonic is constant. So this is due to the uh, uh, this is due to the effect on phase due to nonlinearity. And here, uh, I, oops, excuse me. Um, this one uh, A one is the leading edge of the uh, first harmonic, and uh, uh, B one is the trailing edge. So uh, here, uh, the, the two clouds are going to separate, and then the the, the leading is uh, will immediately come out of uh, interaction region. But the trailing is remains for the whole uh, uh, separation region, uh, separation time, and then uh, the leading is now leading is um, uh, the leading is and trailing is uh, will uh, interact for different time. They accumulate different phase, but. But when they uh, and they pass each other and finally they are recombined, their roles are interchanged, and again the total phase difference due to the complete cycle will uh, cancel. So the most interesting thing is uh, because of these two um, uh, uh, phase, uh, there is two processes. The net phase again, uh, phase uh, let's say distortion is zero, so the coherence time is infinite. But that doesn't really happen in practice. What happens is the size of the clouds change, and because of that. Because of that, the, uh, that limits the limits the uh, coherence time to finite value. So that's my future work. I'm going to work on that. So these are the conclusions of my talk.
Thanks a lot. And by the way, I, I want to point out the last uh, thing. Those are, uh, the, there is some disadvantage of this kind of interferometer uh, because we cannot control the interferometric cycle time. If we want to control the interferometric cycle time, we need to change the uh, trap frequency. Thank you very much. Probably move on to the fifth talk.